regulators Ofcom did acknowledge in their decision that Piers Morgan's March comments about Meghan Markle showed apparent disregard for the seriousness of anyone expressing suicidal thoughts. A UK broadcast regulator has cleared Piers Morgan in an investigation into his controversial comments about Meghan Markle's candid mental health admissions earlier this year. Back in March, the 56-year-old TV personality left from his role at Good Morning Britain, after receiving backlash for vehemently questioning the Duchess of Sussex's credibility when it came to her discussing grappling with suicidal thoughts, which she opened up about in an interview that month with Oprah Winfrey alongside husband Prince Harry. Meghan, 40 even made a formal complaint to ITV following Morgan's on-air comments, people previously reported. In a decision published Wednesday, the Office of Communications, better known as Ofcom, cleared Morgan after an investigation, saying that the comments did not breach the Ofcom broadcasting code and they were uttered with sufficient context. The interview between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Oprah Winfrey contained serious allegations, and it was legitimate for this program to discuss and scrutinize those claims including their veracity, Ofcom said. Ofcom is clear that, consistent with freedom of expression, Mr. Morgan was entitled to say he disbelieved the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's allegations and a hold and express strong views that rigorously challenged their account. The code allows for individuals to express strongly held and robustly argued views, including those that are potentially harmful or highly offensive, and for broadcasters to include these in their programming, they continued. The restriction of such views would, in our view, be an unwarranted and chilling restriction on freedom of expression both of the broadcaster and the audience. Ofcom did, however, say they had concerns about Morgan's apparent disregard for the seriousness of anyone expressing suicidal thoughts, though his co-hosts Susanna Reid and Chris Chip offered extensive challenge to his comments and balanced the discussion. Given the significant challenge to Mr. Morgan's comments provided by other presenters and contributors in the program, we considering that, overall, adequate protection for viewers was provided, and the potentially harmful and highly offensive material was sufficiently contextualized, read the conclusion. After the decision was publicized, Morgan wrote an op-ed for the Daily Mail and tweeted that he is delighted by the verdict. He also called it a resounding victory for free speech and referred to Meghan as Princess Pinocchio. Do I get my job back, he wrote. Among those speaking out against the decision on Twitter was author-slash-activist Dr. Shola Mose Shogbamimu, who said, Piers Morgan consistently aggravates bigotry-slash-racism-slash-sexism-slash-misogyny against Meghan Markle on national stage, uses his white privilege with power and influence to effect. Ofcom just legitimized his conduct systemic racism and white supremacy thrive because UK is institutionally racist. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during their interview with Oprah Winfrey are credit Joe Pugliese slash Harper Productions.
it's the rumings like at off comes about Piers Morgan's comments on GMV, that enable a lot of white men, to continue to inflict more violence in the environments they have access to, tweeted UK actress Kalechi. In his March 8 on air comments, Morgan questioned Meghan's statements regarding her mental health during her time as a member of the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex said during the Oprah interview that for a time she just didn't want to be alive anymore. I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle, Morgan said. I wouldn't believe it, if she read me a weather report and that fact, that she fired up this onslaught against our royal family, I think is contemptible. He later attempted to clarify his comments on mental illness and suicide. Piers Morgan, Meghan Markle bar credit, Fraser Harrison slash Getty, Sam Hussein slash Wiramich. The next day, Morgan stormed off set after his co-host, Alex Beresford, condemned his comments. Later that day, Morgan's permanent departure from the show was announced. In her Oprah interview, Meghan said, It takes so much courage to admit that you need help. It takes so much courage to voice that. As I said, I was ashamed. I think it's so important for people to remember you have no idea that's going on for someone behind closed doors. No idea, she said at the time. Even the people that smile and shine the brightest lights. You need to have compassion for what is actually potentially going on.